this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV! Let's continue through the Cave of Trials, and grab some more equipment for our new party members. Yeah, basically this cave... It's designed to give you equipment for the other five party members that you wouldn't ha normally have at this point in the game. Ultimate equipment in the game. For them. Well, whatever, I'll just blast through this. Oh, nuts. Okay, I'll wait for Sid's turn. Nuts. There we go. It's not something one chat these guys, because they're weak to holy. Wow, barely one minute into the video, and the game's already kicking my ass with the encounter rate. And here we get the cat ear hood. It's for Purim. Oh, I can't use warp here. Nuts. Oh, get back there. It boosts her speed by five. And that's really good for Porum because her speed is atrocious. Not as bad as Sid, but still pretty bad. Especially compared to Edward or the other Malay fighters. Not that Edward's Malay, but you know what I mean. Yeah, Edward's not going to be Malay. They're not going to go that insane with him. Come to think of it... I'm trying to think of something with Edward there. Now well, I'll go over it later. It's not important now. See, I don't think... Oh yeah, there is something to the left there. But first I want to go... Oh. But first I want to go through a secret passage! I thought it was down there. Oh well. You go over here, you can grab this treasure! The White Tiger Mask for Yang. It's... Well, let me see what it does here. It boosts his strength by 5, so you lose the Vitality Boost of the Green Beret, but you make up for it with the extra defense there. Yeah, unfortunately, as far as headgear goes, Yang got pretty shafted. Okay, well, that's all the treasure we can get on this floor. I think we're supposed to go this way. Yeah, there we go. There's no other way we can go. Not many options. Okay, we need to head east first. The south path is just a dead end. Uh-oh. Looks like this is a dead end, too! Unless you go through a secret passage to get the red cat for Edward there. Good thing he gets his stuff early. Yeah, look at that defense boost. Uh, let's see. But compared to the... So let's see. This boosts your stamina by 10. But... Yeah, we can afford to lose the Green Beret. We won't lose an attack multiplier from it, so... Alright, there we go. So yeah, that's just really good for the raw defense. Not so much for the stat boosts. Cottage, awesome. Let's backtrack a little bit then. You're gonna need to use a cottage eventually. Let's see. We wanna go southeast first. I'm a little lost because I don't know this place too well. Oh well. Not as familiar with the content bonus content here. When I played the Game Boy Advance version of the game, I purged most of the bonus content from my memory. Not that the bonus content is bad, just the Game Boy Advance version. Die, suckers. Okay, yeah, I know, he's poisoned. You know, I... I was gonna say increase the battle, sp or battle message speed, but eh, nah. But let's go through another secret passage. Yeah, lots of secret passages around here. If there's one I miss, let me know because I don't. I may not know where all of them are. But here we get the Brave Suit. It increases your strength, speed, and stamina by 10. So let's see, 85, 36 on the strength and speed. Equip that. Ooh, look at that defense boost. Yeah, 90. 46 speed? This is getting ridiculous here. In fact, I want to decrease the battle speed a little bit, just because now my speed is starting to get really, really high, and having, that, having a lower battle speed will give me more of an advantage over the enemies. Without slowing the battle speed to a crawl. And it's about at this point in the game, where if your speed is getting really, really high, you want to start uh, decreasing... Decreasing the battle speed, or at least in the menu there, because what happens is your speed gets so fast, there's... I'm not exactly sure how to describe it. It seems like 
there's almost a cap on how fast you can be before being faster won't really help you. What will sometimes happen, this is particularly a problem for melee fighters, your ATB gauge will fill up, but you won't get your turn yet. The game won't let you enter in more than two commands at a time. So even if you have really high speed, you won't get your turn yet. While, well yeah, you won't get your turn yet. Meanwhile, other slower characters will still get their, will still get their uh, ATB gauge filling up. So really, having that extra speed doesn't help you that much. So I'd rather try to increase the gap as much as possible by, um, by decreasing the battle speed in the menu there. And here we get the Robe of Lords, one of my favorite pieces of equipment you can get here. It boosts your stamina and spirit by five. It's for Quorum, by the way. But more importantly, it resists all elements, or all elemental damage. So that's really nice. There we go. I knew there was another one around here. Last one. This one contains the Sage's Robe, which is for Palum there. It boosts speed and intellect by 10, so that's really good for him. Not even so much for the intellect, just the speed. Speed is so important in the late game. Especially when there's actual equipment that will boost it for you. Now there's one more character who we still gotta get their ultimate equipment for. There's also a couple new enemies that I want to meet up with here, but if I don't get them on my first trip, I'll hit them up on the second trip. So, not really worried about the summoner here, just go all out. There we go. Yeah, nice thing about the cat claws, they can put your enemies to sleep! Okay, now remember this spot for later, because I'm going to backtrack their off-screen eventually. Got a long way to go through a secret passage. But anyway, here we get the Grand Helm for Sid. Let's give that. Oh, uh, take a look at his stats first. So the Grand Helm that boosts your speed and spirit by five. So that's really good for Sid, especially since his speed is atrocious. He's almost unusable. Yeah, I really don't like him that much. And here we get the Grand Armor, the last one. Fifteen stamina and spirit, and obviously a lot of, oh, and it resists lightning, so that's pretty good around here, so, okay, well, let's backtrack off screen then. Okay, we're back. Oh, and here's the other new enemy I was looking for, Great Marlboro, at least one of the new enemies that I'm looking for. Let's put him to sleep! You could also use Toad on him, like all the other Marlboros. It's basically a Marlboro that's tougher, so... Now you notice we've only gotten weapons for our other characters up to this point. That will change. You'll never get accessories, at least not in these dungeons for them. So, no unique accessories for them like that. So, you'll have to make do with what you got. Let's see, I think we want to go down first. Uh, screw it. Run! Run! Double Thunder Dragons. No, I'm not dealing with that crap. Double crap! Double nuts. Okay, we made it. Uh, let's go up the left path first. I think there are still enemies around here. But anyway, here we got a new item in this version of the game. The Mega Elixir. Does what you think it does. Elixir on everyone. Just like every other Final Fantasy game. Of course, the Mega Elixirs are part of the Too Good To Use Club. Absolutely! Now, there is one more new enemy that you can meet up with around here. But, I'm going to have to bring in Palum to take care of him. Unfortunately, Rydia does not know the spell that I need to deal with the new enemy. Palum learns his spells a lot sooner than everyone else. Okay, here we are. We've made it to the final part of the Cave of Trials. So, first things first... Let's use a cottage here. Now, I'm just trying to think of something. Okay, the... Okay, yeah, yeah. So yeah, Palum... Yeah, he just runs his spells earlier, so... First things first, uh, with this part, which you have to have 
well, let's see. Let's take a look around. There's a bunch of weapons here. The ultimate weapons for the new characters, or the new ones that you couldn't use before in the original Final Fantasy IV. You need to bring that character in here in order to get the weapon. So we're going to have to make two trips for this place. I'm going to, well, obviously start with one trip and do the other trip off screen for the most part. Let's start with this one, the harp. Probably the best weapon that you can get around here. I am not kidding. For boss time! Now with this guy, he mostly counterattacks whatever you do. So you basically, let's see, let's use a spider silk on him. Gets rid of his turn, and use Bach. And basically, once you got your spider silk, actually spider silks probably don't really help that much. But basically, you want to use attacks that deal as much damage per hit as possible, so that way, well, you can survive. So that way you'll minimize the damage that he will deal with his counterattack. So anything like jump, focus, obviously mass damage from vomit, that works pretty well. If you've got, uh, what is it? If you, only, if you have Palom here, you could use the, what are they called? You could use his uh, level 3 elemental spells. That would be pretty effective on him. But he's not really weak to anything in particular. So just go with dual cat claws. That's the way to go. Obviously Bahamut. I'm just going to... Oh, I can't fast forward. Defend. Then I can fast forward through the summon animation. I hope you don't mind me fast forwarding through some of these animations here. I mean, I think they're cool and all. Especially the first time. But after a while, you know kind of wish uh, it went by a little faster. Oh, wow. Go, Yang, go! Yeah, that's one reason why I brought Yang with me to fight this boss. And Rydia, for that matter. Because I don't think Palom has uh, Flare yet. But, I mean, the level 3 elemental spells, they can get you by. Finish him! Can't be that. Can't have that Eh, max damage. I've seen that before. Eh, nothing special. Ha ha. Yeah, just have everyone else... Eh, I suppose I could defend. But really, you can just stand by and you'll be fine. Heal up there. Wow, this guy has a little more HP than I thought he did. I thought I'd finish him like that. But sure! Just taking a look at what we're going to get out of this battle. Ah, there we go. Alright, got it! And for defeating the Gigas Worm, we get Apollo's Heart, one of my favorite weapons in the game. Let's take a look at uh, Edward's stats. Okay, 52 strength, 46 speed. Watch this. Well, first, look at that attack power boost. Holy cow. But anyway, yeah, boost your strength and speed by 15. He is a house. And actually, if you give him the black cow... He has 64 speed. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be a house. How much damage can he deal with the Apollo's Heart? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day. Oh, and the Apollo's Heart deals quadruple da damage to dragons.